Parshi Tech. This is Ritesh Srinivasan. In this video, let's look at the Keybert library. So Keybert is a minimal and easy to use keyword extraction technique which makes use of BERT embeddings to create keywords and key phrases for a document. And these keywords and key phrases are expected to be very similar to the contents of the document. Okay. So there is a medium post where the author has actually explained how uh, this library was created, but I've just created a small figure over here to explain uh, this library. So the idea is that you have a document, you pass it to a BERT model and you get a document level representation. Okay. You also have a candidate phrase generator, which generates candidate phrases from this document. Now for each of these candidate phrases, you can again pass it to the BERT model and get a phrase level representation. So now you have the doc level representation and you also have the phrase level representation for the various candidate phrases. Now you do a cosine similarity between the document level representation and the phrase level representation and then rank the most similar phrases when compared to the document uh, representation and then you get your key phrases. So this is the simple idea over here. So this is what is actually explained in this uh, particular medium post as well. So if you look over here, what uh, is done is that to generate the candidate keywords or key phrases, SK, uh, SkyKit learn count vectorizer is used and you can specify an n-gram range. Based on the n-gram range, you will get the top n-grams which are present in this document and they are your key phrases, candidate keywords or key phrases. Right? Then you get the BERT embeddings and you do the cosine similarity. So that's a simple idea. Okay. You can read this medium article. I will put a link, uh, uh, this link in the description of the video. Okay. So uh, examples are given over here on how to use this library. Okay. So let us do, uh, just run this example and also let us also try with one of our examples. Okay, so first we need to install Keybird. So I have installed Keybird over here with all the necessary dependencies. You can follow the instructions over here. Uh, then from Keybird, we import Keybird. Uh, here's a document which has been specified as an example over here in the GitHub. So it is it talks about supervised learning. Okay. So then all you have to do is that you have to create an object of Keybird. So this object is instantiated over here and then you pass this document string okay, to extract the keywords. And what it does is that it actually downloads all the necessary BERT models which are required over here. And then you can actually, uh, you know, you can call extract keywords, you can pass the document and you can specify the n-gram range. Okay, so if you want just one word keywords, so you can specify the range as one to one. And so this is the keywords which have been pulled out from this document. And if you look at over here, it also talks about supervised learning analysis algorithm training. Okay. Because this content is about supervised learning. Okay. Now you can also play around with the keyword range. So for example, if you want bigrams as keywords, you can give a key phrase n-gram range is equal to 1 comma 2. So here you see supervised learning, in supervised machine learning, learning algorithm. Now you can also try with trigrams okay and here you have concepts like maximum sum uh, keyword extraction you have uh, something called high diversity and low diversity so if you look at what is uh, maximum sum you know similarity the idea here is that uh, you actually you know the maximum sum distance between pairs of data is defined as the pairs of data for which the distance between them is maximized Okay, so in our case, we want to maximize the candidate similarity to the document while minimizing the similarity between the candidates. Otherwise, what happens is that you will get similar looking words, key phrases coming up. So the idea is that how can we actually generate key phrases which are different from each other, but they are very uh, much important to this document. So that is what is mentioned over here in terms of maximum uh, some distance between pairs of data. Okay, so what is done over here is that you select top 20 keywords, key phrases from your key phrase uh, generation process. And then from that, you will select the five that are least similar to each other. Again, using cosine distance, you can get the least similarity, right? So that is the idea over here. Okay, so that is the maximum distance uh, concept, 
right then you also have the other concept of uh, diversity so basically depending upon how you set this number of candidates you can either have high diversity or you know low diversity and there are certain algorithms like maximum marginal relevance uh, you know it tries to minimize redundancy and maximize the diversity of results in the text summarization task there is already an implementation of that that is also being used over uh, here so the idea is that we select the keyword or key phrase that is most similar to the document then iteratively select new candidates that are both similar to the document and not similar to the already selected keywords or key phrases that's the idea over here so that you don't get similar keywords or similar key phrases and there is a diversity in your uh, you know uh, key phrases which have been generated okay so that is what is being tried over here so this is with the high diversity so you get examples like supervised learning example input output pair so these are the key phrases right with low diversity you get very similar uh, key phrases like supervised learning example supervised learning machine example super so this is more or less you know kind of overlapping right so you get sim so uh, so it, it is better preferred to have high diversity or maximum sum okay to get the key phrases so the key phrases are nothing but the phrases in this document which are important to this document which describes this uh, document okay so here the document is about supervised learning so let's try this same uh, keyword algorithm with our example so what i have done is that i have pulled from wikipedia some text which talks about ferrari it talks about the italian luxury sports car manufacturer uh, i talks about you know its founder when it was created and uh, you know how it is doing in racing and other stuff over here so i've just pulled this text from wikipedia and what i do is that i uh, extract first n gram uh, or uh, say trigrams basically in the range 1 is to 3 so it uh, extracts these as key phrases which is ferrari from fca or fiat corporation ferrari company established ferrari enzo ferrari in ferrari is probably not uh, you know ferrari obviously will come as a key phrase uh, established ferrari enzo ferrari is enzo ferrari is founder of ferrari so some details are there you know but let's try with uh, say our uh, maxim okay so when you do maxim you get like fiat chrysler automobiles uh, you know owned uh, ferrari and then separation of ferrari has happened okay you can also try with diversity so here it is pulling out some other things like uh, you know uh, i don't see these as very relevant <laughs> key phrases so this library may be good for certain purposes but may not be good for certain other documents for keyword phrase extraction and another thing which uh, they have explained in this paper is that you know the base bert model uh, you can use actually sentence transformer models because sentence transformer gives very a uh, good uh, sentence level re representations so for that you would require the sentence transformer library which needs to be installed which is hugging face uh, uh, which also uses hugging face uh, transformers library so let us try the same thing with our uh, sentence with the base model as uh, sentence transformer model so what we can do over there is that we can uh, create an instances instance of our uh, sentence transformer model okay the paraphrasing this model is very good over here as suggested by the author then we instantiate keybert with the uh, this bert model sentence transformer bert model okay then it is the same process of extracting the keywords so you can actually try out with different uh, bert models it need not be just the bert base or distilled bert or anything the previous examples were with distilled bert so here it is with sentence transformer bert model so here if you see it shows like ferrari from fca ferrari company established ferrari enzo ferrari so these key phrases are better right even with uh, diversity again it goes for a toss with maximum sum uh, with uh, you know high diversity it's quite good like founded by enzo ferrari in 1939 so i have increased the range over here to 5 um, okay so you have uh, five words in this uh, key phrase right it uh, some record selling price is there the current ferrari is incorporated in netherlands so you need to see which keyword phrases are really useful for you but this is a very simple library uh, which you can directly use for keyword uh, for uh, for making use of bert embeddings to extract key phrases keywords when compared to your traditional uh, keyword extraction algorithms like rake or tf idf this uh, gives slightly better results because of you know we are using bert embeddings which are very good uh, contextual embeddings for a document 
I hope you find this video useful. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in a new video. Happy learning.